Hey everyone, it's Siobhan with the Necktie Revolution vlog here with Chop. Hey Chop. Hi. So tell me, where are you from? I am from Duval County, Jacksonville, Florida. Wow, Jacksonville, Florida. Well, you're in New York now. You're in the middle of Union Square. Yes. So a New York question is, what do you do? What do I do? Well, I'm an MC and I'm also a teacher and I'm just a simple lover of life. Wow, you look like a lover of life. You look very earthy here. I don't know if that's a Wu-Tang pin. You got some earthy tattoos. The flowers are right by you. Okay, so you got the funky style going. I love it. What are some of the topics that you rhyme about, Chop? Ooh, well, let's just say today I was writing a rap about how women need to respect each other more than they sweat men. Um, another topic I'm writing about is about time and how, you know, time doesn't really exist when we overthink it. Uh-huh. Um, that, you know, I, I write the typical, like, you know, I'm a rapper, rapper, rap, 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 MC, <laughs> raps, like, dope type stuff, so. Alright, so rap rap stuff. Rapity rap stuff. Mixed in with some questions, burning questions. Burning questions. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Alright, so tell me a little bit about being a school teacher. You have such energy. Um, what kind of kids are you teaching? What age? Well, I actually learned to, to grasp that energy more from teaching. I taught third grade for five years. No, third grade for four years, first grade for one year. And right now, I'm MC day job. I sub high school on the side, and that's really fun because I go in the classroom and I get their attention by rapping, and that normally works. They respect me off gate. That's awesome. So, yeah. <laughs> Okay, so a rapping teacher, I never had one of those, nor did I have a cute teacher like you. But So speaking of school, um, I definitely listened to a bunch of your songs. I like them all, but there is a particular one called School Bells, um, and it was challenging the listener to rethink the types of nationally accepted holidays that they celebrate and yes. why. Yes. Can you tell me where the inspiration from that song came from? Um, well, actually, it's called cool School is In, but you're close. Thank you. <laughs> um, and... That is actually all I have to do with time. I was actually talking about time and how we misperceive time. And as a result of misperceiving time, we also misperceive the things that come within the calendar, like holidays and um, ideas about how we spend our time. And it came really just, that was actually my first rap I think I ever successfully recorded. That sounds actually good. And so, and while writing it, it the idea was that um, I want to just break into people's minds and go, you know, why do we do these things? Let's talk about them. And if I'm gonna be on the mic, let me let me use this time wisely. To make us think. I was thinking, I was like, wait a minute. Yeah. Alright, so usually I end these interviews with a nice question about sexy undergarments. <laughs> because it is smart talk with hot chicks. Yes. Um, usually I try to start at the top, but I know for a fact you have some other <laughs> assets. So why don't you stand up? Give us a spin. Oh, okay, well, all right. So now you gotta tell me, <laughs> where was the place that you got the best fitting dainty little undergarments ever? Well, technically I don't really wear. Ladies um, and gentlemen, draws. say that again for these, <laughs> say that again for the fellas. I don't really wear draws. Okay. So if I did though, I'd go for the uh, 5 for 5 for Victoria's Secret. All right, give us that other spin and wave goodbye. <laughs> Thank you so much, Chop.